Why can't you follow the simplest orders? I, I can't stop myself. I see a dragon and I have to just kill it, you know? It's who I am, Dad. Oh, for the love of... I, I was a coward. I was weak. I wouldn't kill a dragon. Even as a boy, I knew what I was, what I had to become. No one just gets as good as you do. Hiccup is not that boy. Especially you. Stop trying so hard to be something you're not. I wouldn't kill him because he looked as frightened as I was. This wasn't a vicious beast, but an intelligent, gentle creature whose soul reflected my own. I looked at him and I saw myself. Everything we know about you guys is wrong. Who would have thought it, eh? He has this way with the beasts. We don't have to kill them. They've killed hundreds of us! And we've killed thousands of them! They defend themselves, that's all! A dragon will always, always go for the kill. You won't always be around to protect him. He's going to get out there again. He's probably out there now. You have the heart of a chief and the soul of a dragon. I am not listening to anything you have to say. Then I won't speak. Just let me show you. I'm sorry. What you're searching for isn't out there. Only you can bring our worlds together. It's in here. I'm proud to call you my son. That is who you are. Thanks, Dad. Show them what you got, bud. It's our duty to keep the peace. Peace is over, Hiccup. I must prepare you for war. War? The sound of Stoic the Vast. <laughs> what shame he must feel. Dad, if Drago's coming for our dragons, let's go find him and change his mind. Oh, some minds won't be changed, Hiccup. All of this loss. And for what? To become unstoppable? To rule the world? Berk is what you need to worry about. A chief protects his own. I'm not the chief that you wanted me to be. And I'm not the peacekeeper I thought I was. Dragons, they, they are kind, amazing creatures that can bring people together. Or tear them apart. He thinks he has to lead alone. Because his father had to. He doesn't realize the strength you have together. Toothless, come on. You are nothing without your dragon. Do you still believe in him? Of course. I wish he did. Toothless! Toothless, no! Pick up! He thinks he's nothing without Toothless. Get away from him! Go on, get out of here! It's not his fault. You know that. Toothless! And I was so afraid of becoming my dad. Mostly because I thought I never could. But with love comes loss, son. It's part of the deal. How? How do you become someone that great, that brave, that selfless? There's no greater gift than love. A chief protects his own. It wasn't your fault, bud. It's my job as chief to protect us, Hiccup. Please, you are my best friend, bud. One day, when you're all growing up, 
that job will be passed on to you. My best friend. We are Burke, the people. I say Burke is wherever we go. Atta boy, that's it. I'm here. Dad used to talk about an old mariner's myth of a secret land at the edge of the world where dragons live totally out of reach. It's okay, but you belong there with her. But what if it's real? And that's all right. It could be the answer to all of our problems. You and me as one. You killed both of us! Fighting over a dragon? I was so busy fighting for a world that I wanted. You were the bravest, most stubborn, most determined knucklehead I know. I didn't think about what you needed. Toothless didn't give you that hiccup. He just made it... Easier. And now it's gonna be a lot harder. You've looked after us for long enough. Time to look after yourselves. So? What are you gonna do about it? Probably something stupid. Go on, bud. Lead them to the hidden world. You'll be safe there. Safer than you could ever be with me. This is what it is to earn a dragon's loyalty. I love you too, and I want you to be free. Now that's a king. He's challenging the Alpha to protect you! Once you've earned his loyalty, there is nothing a dragon won't do for you. You won't be changing any minds around here. I can change yours, right here, right now. Remember me? This is what it is to be a dragon hiccup. <laughs>